Hello YouTubers. So, um, I actually got uh, quite a lot of response to the build I made and this is the video where we're going to test this out. So, I haven't done this before. Uh, it's a trial and error test. Uh, it will be quite interesting to see how well we can align the CCD. I actually moved the uh, uh, two inch holder, the barrel, down a bit uh, because the spacing between the wooden plank and the the hold was too tight, so the camera was going to hit, so I moved that back. And also the, um, the length that the laser uh, ray um, is traveling uh, is increased, so that will be um, on the positive side, I believe. My camera, um, which still is on back order, um, is not getting any better, uh, just uh, went into the telescope service website and I saw that it, uh, it's added uh, an additional one week. So I thought that I will be doing this video with my old camera and a tilt adapter. Um, but the basics is still the same, um, different camera, same technique. So here we go. So I printed out this um, original article um, from Starlight Express website. Uh, it basically says that uh, how they are doing it, uh, how the pr platform looks. It's also a schematic of how the laser pen is reflected out of the different uh, uh, glass. You have a main cover window, a cover slip and then the CCD itself or the camera ship. This is resulting in three different reflections. The first re reflection which we are going to see is the reflection from the pixels from the CCD or the CMOS chip itself. The second reflection will be from the cover slip um, covering the CCD. Um, this will be the brightest spot as it says in the following explanation here. The slightly weaker one will be from the uh, main window uh, in the front of the camera. I suggest to take a look at this one. Uh, it's quite a good explanation. This is my old camera. It's the Attic 460. It, it's just worked flawlessly. But you know how this is. Uh, you want new stuff, bigger chip, um, better quantum efficiency. You name it. But this test is just the same as which I originally thought that I might do with the new camera, but the new camera will be delayed even further. So um, this is basically the same. This is a tilt adapter. This is ZWO's M42 tilt adapter. Just going to put this in here. And as you can see, the fit is really, really good. And the idea that you rotate the camera like this and you're supposed to see uh, different reflections. Now this is the tricky part. Um, as you can see, um, hope you can see this, this is three reflections. There we go to see them. You see this square pattern here is the pixels from the CCD sensor. And here we have two different um, reflections and when you're twisting them they are moving. First of all we need to identify uh, the different reflections. Uh, so I'm shooting the laser down the barrel uh, it reflects off the cover window, the uh, slip cover in front of the CCD and the pixels. So these dots here is the pixels from the camera chip. And as you can see down here, we have three reflections. So we need to identify which reflection is uh, which. In the paper from Starlight Express, it says that the uh, reflection we are going to adjust is the uh, strongest reflection. So we need to identify which is the pixel, which is the main window of the camera, and which is from the slip from the 
in front of the CCD sensor. This refraction here, uh, I'm quite sure that this is from the first window, the camera window, and we are uh, just going to ignore that one. Here we can see two reflections, and now we need to identify which reflection of this, uh, which is the pixel reflection, and which uh, one of these is the uh, cover slip uh, in front of the camera chip. The reflection from the CCD cover slip is normally the brightest spot and sits on top of the central reflection from the CCD chip surface. You may see other spot which is nearby but not usually aligned with the diffracted grid of spots. Uh, this is a reflection from the outer camera window as is not important for collimation purpose. I suggest rotating the camera until the cover slip spot is as far to the right of the center of the rotation as it goes during a rotation. Okay, and I believe, yeah, there we have it. You should then tighten the adjustment screw which is furthest right at that time or loosen the leftmost screw a little. Um, this will move the reflection leftwards and reduce the offset from the rotation axis. Rotate several times and adjust as above until the cover slip spot is essentially stationary when you are rotating the camera. Okay. Needs more adjusting. Okay, so what we want is the rightmost reflection to stay stationary. Oh, this is tricky. Almost. Yeah, I believe we got it. Um, so you get the point. Um, once again, this is the grid of pixels. Um, that is basically not interesting. Um, you can also see a reflection which, which is supposed to be the weakest one from the, uh, the window in front of the camera. That is also to be ignored. The brightest reflection, however, is the one from the CCD cover window and that is supposed to stay put when you are rotating the camera. It's not easy, but you get a hang of it. Um, I'm going to fine tune this. Um, to learn more, but as you can see um, it is extremely precise. Uh, I didn't know that the distance from the individu individual pixels on the camera ship would be so far apart. Um, I should also mention that uh, don't use a stronger laser than this is a 5 milliwatt. It is completely sufficient. You don't need a green laser either, uh, as you can see this is a red and it's, uh, it's working just fine. Um, so um, I'm going to play around with this rig, um, but it seems to work really really nice. Um, and after a couple of minutes you get a hang of it. But please download this or um, read uh, how to um, assess the reflections and also how to adjust the adjustment screws uh, to get it right from left to right, basically. Thank you for watching. Um, I really, really hope that I am going to get my camera real soon uh, so we can uh, mount it back on the telescope, mount the telescope back on the mount, uh, get that aligned and uh, start the new season because uh, it's almost time here to get started with the autumn season. Thanks once again, um, keep it safe out there, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel and we will see some more videos. Thanks, bye!